We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the, the number one station for independent artists. I'm cool like that. I'm cool. Hey, it's that type of vibe right now. We are back to Infamous Luminary Sounds. Hey, listen, I know we have a wonderful special guest in the building, but it was my birthday on March 17th. Aww. That's right. That's happy right. Patrick Stan, uh, I don't know if y'all noticed, but Sade, she's been begging to sing happy birthday a lot to me. Are you? Oh, are you? Here we go. Hey. Hey. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Junior. Happy birthday Ooh. to you. Oh, you see what I'm saying? It's, uh, oh, my God. Thank you with for the smile on your face. Right. This guy. <laughs> this guy. This guy. This guy. Beautiful, Sade. That's right. Beautiful vocal. So now that we got that out the way, <laughs> we have the wonderful, the amazing Larson Thompson hey. in the building. Hey. Yeah, so, yeah, so I know the vibes okay, are a little you, high right now. Can you yes. follow that? <laughs> can I follow exactly. that? Yes. Um, if I wasn't, like, congested and feel sick, um, I would. Okay. But <laughs> we're just Happy busy. birthday. Thank you so yeah. much. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so now, much. You, I appreciate you got it. A lot going on, but I want to take it all the way back to the beginning. Oh, back so to the beginning. at four, you started dancing. Yeah. Nine, you were hip-hop trained. Yeah. And yeah. then 12... You were flying all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> it happened quick. Like, how does this happen? Like, t- just uh, run me through. Yeah, so I, you know, I started dancing at four. I was training classically in tap, ballet, all the things. And then my mom was like, okay, hey, where do you really want to take this? And a bunch of, like, the owners of the dance studio were like, look, I don't know if dance is, like, for Larson. She's a little bit too, like, ADHD for oh. us. She has too much energy. Okay. Like, I think she <laughs> oh. should get into something else. And my parents were like, no, I, you know. When she's on stage, she thrives, and mm. they're like, we're keeping her into this. So my mom was like, okay, look, you can either like do this for fun or you can make a career out of it. And this was at like 10 we were kind of having this wow. conversation because as a dancer, you start so young. You start training at Millennium. Right. You meet all the choreographers, and it kind of just happens quickly like that. So by 10, I was going down to L.A. And when of, you say Millennium, you mean Millennium in North Hollywood? Yes, Oh, that's popular. Look at you. Okay. I know, I know it. He used to teach yeah. a class. <laughs> a class? No, you did kidding. not. Did you really? <laughs> he's kidding. Maybe we know each other from that I, I, think he, I think he wanted to. You know. No. Okay. Um, I just remember, like, I know now they've moved locations. Yeah. But that yeah. was the spot for dancers. Totally. Yeah. Um, I think it was so. on, like, Lancashire. Oh, yeah. Lan- Lancashire. Yeah. It was yes, on Lancashire. Yes. Look at y'all, too. And Magnolia. I know. <laughs> yep. Yes, exactly. Well, he knows in that area because we used to go to Dave's Hot Chicken. That's right my now. favorite spot. Oh. We got some. We got some stories. We'll talk about that oh, later. Oh, you're doing it right. Okay. You Thank you for explaining, because she had said it, and I was just gonna fly right past. Like, all right, I don't know what that means, but all right, oh, let's let it go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep. So that's awesome. So um, you did some. You did some dancing at Millennium. Yeah. So I kind of built my way into you know making these relationships with these choreographers, and so by 12, I was kind of touring with these choreographers on this convention called the Pulse on Tour. Wow. And from there, that's kind of what introduced me into the industry. So I started then, you know, work doing live television on like The Voice or The X Factor and we're mm-hmm. dancing. Mm-hmm. And then slowly but surely, I kind of started getting into the music video stuff. And that's where I was like, oh, my gosh, I love this. OK, I can like dance. I can perform. I can bring into acting. And I played like Pink in her music video, Beautiful Trauma. Oh, and I was fun. like, this is really what what I love. And I feel like I've been a part of music and dance from such a young age that when the music comes on, I'm like, I'm a different person, man. Okay. I'm like, the beat comes on. You're ready. And I, yeah, it's like this different wow. human being that comes out. Um, but yeah, and then I, by 12 and through th- 12 to 14, I was like, I really want to, you know, get into the modeling space. And mm-hmm. so that's kind of what took me around the world for a long time um, at 14. So I was, you so know. So what did school look like at that Yeah. That- Age. So I um, I went all years. I went out half of my sophomore year oh. into homeschool. Yeah, because I was like getting How was those... the homeschool? Uh, my homeschool was I went in one day a week and met with my teacher. And one that day was a it. week? One Wonderful. day a week. Wow. That's a lot so to I did... absorb. 
<laughs> and I did like all of my work within that that week, and then I wow. just had to turn it back into her that next. Wow, that, that is a lot. Time I saw yeah. her. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned your talent agencies. Which one can you say is the most promising? That you said this was the most fulfilling for my career. Because you've been with a few. Yeah, like as far as managements or teams that kind of handle everything as far as an agency Sure, I mean, goes. It, it, which talent agency, I guess, would you say you've had the best experience with that gave you the most opportunity? Um, um, I've been with Next Model since I was, my gosh, 14 years old. Okay. And so I've been with them now I'm 22, so a long time. Mm. But I've also been a family of Abrams since I was like 12. And so they kind of handle all of my acting, ah. all the theatrical side of things. Okay. And they're like family. I love them. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And music videos. Favorite yeah. music video. Oh my the most fun you've had on set. The most fun. I'd probably say the pink music video. Ah. Um, but recently the, I did this. I hadn't done a music video in a while. And then I got asked to do The Weeknd and Maluma's video like a year ago. Oh. And I was like. Man, I miss this. Like this feeling on being there, <laughs> oh, and man. you're just around it all. And then to now be getting into music myself and kind of being like, okay, what do I want to take away from working with these artists, and right. what I've learned from being on their projects, and take it into my own craft and my own vision for what I want to do with my music. So that's just been like the coolest experience for me of like what I do want to do, what I don't want to do, you know? Absolutely. So, was it an easy transition from uh, dancing and modeling to then becoming a singer? Is it kind of like all <clears throat> entitled a full package deal? I think it, you know, I think it all comes hand in hand at the end of the day. I think any opportunity where I'm able to express myself through art is really where I thrive. I'm like, this is what I want. I'm like, if I can dance and I'm acting and I can express myself through that that's that's what I want to do and with music I feel like it's been this outlet for me that I get to share a deeper side to myself uh, a more yeah. vulnerable side that I necessarily wouldn't really share coming on social media mm. um, because I'm kind of a very closed off person I'm pretty private but through music I've been opening up my journal and pulling deep thoughts and vulnerable feelings and being like you know I feel comfortable sharing this I want it to connect I want it to encourage young girls that follow me or men or and just and, and be an inspiration for them in that way. Are you writing your own music or do you have somebody helping you, yeah, assisting so, you with that? Yeah, so I'm writing um, my music along with my my friend Eden XO. She's been an artist herself for a very long time. And okay. the two of us are kind shout of... Shout out to her. Yeah, shout out to her. She's amazing. <laughs> sure. Um, and then my, my latest song I have is coming out with, you know... Bonnie McKee, she's an incredible writer, and so we collaborated. And so that's my third song coming out that I'm like most excited for. I'm like, let's you do kicking it. them out. Let's yeah, yeah, it. I can't wait to get it out. I'm like, oh, I hate holding on to these things. Like, I just want them out, out. into the yeah. world as soon yeah. as they're done. Right? Yes, yes, it's hard. Would you say your music is uh, similar to a certain artist that you know you follow them and you kind of like you're not trying to be them, but yeah, you take no from inspiration them a bit. for yes. sure. When I first started music, it was definitely Lord. I loved oh, like her okay. quirkiness. Nice. I loved like the raspiness to her voice. Um, but also like recently, I've like never been like a huge Swifty. And then when her latest album came out, I'm hey. like, she is just <laughs> incredible. I feel like she's a poet in her writing. She's dope. She is she's dope. A, she's she an is, artist. She is dope. She is it's, phenomenal. Like, I'm gonna make this album in my bathroom. No, I, she I, is. I just, <laughs> I just was in another city, and she was actually, I was in traffic, and I was just like, what is all this traffic? Yeah. So Taylor Swift had a two-day show, and what happened was, it was it was in Phoenix. They named Glendale, Arizona, officially, th that particular day, Swift City. They gave oh, her the wow. key. That's crazy. That's awesome. She shut it down. Like, that Wait. whole, she's dope. Yeah, this just happened about that two weeks ago. That is so cool. Yeah, so she's, Taylor Swift is big time. She is. Have big you, time. Have you met any of these people? Oh, I'm sorry, Missy. I was at the iHeartRadio Awards like two years ago, and I sat ne right next to her, but we didn't have a conversation. <laughs> oh. And I'm like, dang, I wish I would have, like, I get kind of uncomfortable in those situations because I'm like, I just think you're so talented and right. so Aww. gifted. And so I, it was almost like in awe of her in a way of like, I, I know. wow. I love you, and you're right in front of me, it, and this is weird. <laughs> you should have just did what I did with Missy. Spill your drink on her, 
And <gasps> then this she has no reason. She has to speak oh, to you. Oh, come on. And you what? apologize. I'm so sorry about that. Hi, my name's Larson. Oh. And then you establish a relationship. I don't know if you could do that on the red carpet or at the awards ceremony. And she would go viral for that. <laughs> Wait, did this really In a bad happen, way? though? Well, I did spill Mrs. Coffee. I yeah. wasn't here for that, oh. but I heard it and I was like, <laughs> Wow. That's that's not that's tragic. I'm that's sorry. tragic. Yeah. It was it was tragic. I was it was a really hard day. We after we got through it together. Hey, a lot of prayer. Exactly. A lot of you prayer. Notice exactly. How, <laughs> notice how the coffee's on this side now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have rules. My hand now cannot I'm go past of you. Here. I'm like, do not come near me, Junior. <laughs> Holy. That's so great. when you um, you're a dancer, you're an actor, you're a singer. Um, when you go um, through your career, is it like more? project by project base or do you kind of have like a five-year plan yeah that's no that's a great question I've kind of been figuring that out myself um recently and kind of thinking through that but I think I kind of focus on the avenue that's kind of um taking up most of my time at the moment so yeah. you know when I first in, was in modeling it's like I was traveling so much I couldn't really focus in any other avenue and and now I you know most of my focus right now is in acting in the music that's kind of where mm. my life is at right now i yeah. have a movie coming out at the end of the year it's my like the you know the studio film that i did and so i'm like okay i'm like so excited about that that's what i feel most passionate about and then the music i'm like hey acting and, and music they go hand in hand like if i could be in a musical or bring my dance and all that stuff together so i think mm -hmm. They all kind of build one another up in a way, if that makes sense. Of but I'm also like, hey, you know, God, you are the orchestrator of my life. I'm like, wherever you Shout want to be. Shout out to G.O.D. That's all right. Day. All day. <laughs> that is a good mentality to have. Yeah. It is Thank a good you. mentality. For Thank sure. you. Uh, you are an artist, so we have a thing called Sip to Your Light It Up. Uh, one of the gentlemen, they'll bring out our little cup of tea. Uh, what we do is we listen to an independent artist's music. Okay. And if it is not good, we sip a little tea. <gasps> Oh, And no. we will talk about why we are sipping the tea. Uh-oh. In a respectful way. Wow. Most, wah, wah, wah. most of the time. Uh, if it is good, we will light it up with a lighter and a microphone, and we put it into what Missy's calling roto, rotation. Wow. Yeah, so the artist that we're going to listen to is called Daste featuring uh, Davina. Here with me. It's time for sip tea or light it up. Yo, 